Bonjour mes élèves, salam alaikum. I am filming this video uh, on my second to last day in Senegal um, from the town of Toubab Diala, which is a coastal town. And um, this is an artist retreat, I would say, which is very well known for uh, welcoming artists, performance artists, dancers, um, theater folks, drummers, musicians, in this really beautiful space, which I can highlight here. It's like a little slice of a very peaceful place to be. And here you can see the ocean. It's pretty uh, breezy today. So the surf is definitely up. It's the perfect place to be, I think, to reflect on our stay here. We've been in Senegal almost 12 days now. Um, this is a really perfect space, like I said, to reflect on our journey here. So I came to Senegal because I'd never traveled to Africa before. And um, I really wanted to experience a country in Africa. Senegal had always been my top choice because it's a place where uh, that's politically very stable. It's a place where they do speak French. French is very prevalent here due to colonization. Um, even though Wolof is the main language that they speak. I'm happy to say I've learned a little Wolof, but I'd really like to learn more now. I'm inspired. It's, um, it's been an amazing journey. This program that I took part in included a total of six days of homestays, two in the island, uh, in the town of Chess, which is practically the second or third biggest, largest city in Senegal, and then the island, um, remote island of Neodior, where I spent four days. And those homestay experiences can be really challenging and pushes you to discover things that you might not have realized about yourself and about the people that you um, meet and customs that you learn about and the lifestyles. It's a really beautiful experience though and you come away with it with a true appreciation of what it is to be a human being and how to communicate with others if you don't speak a common language. Um, you know, learning to live with the bare necessities in life, which really is all we need. I would again encourage all of you, if at any point in your life you have the opportunity to travel somewhere that takes you into regions unknown, to really not just go to visit a country to say I was there and I took pictures and I saw such and such monument or museum, but to live amongst the people. Um, you come away with it for a, a huge appreciation for what it is to be a member of the human race and the fact that we are all so globally interconnected in a number of ways. So here we are. Tomorrow is our departure day, not until 11 at night, but um, feeling rather pensive and sad to be leaving Senegal, but extremely grateful and thankful for the experience. Ciao from Tubab Tiala.